So we're here on the very western edge of Crete that used to actually be called Megalonysos, which means the Great Island, which is obviously the 160 mile long island south of mainland Greece. I love that name, Megalonysos. I think I'm gonna call it that in all my videos. So this is the first site we're visiting here on our trip to Crete or Megalonysos. And it is an amazing megalithic throne. This is called the throne of Poseidon or the throne of Thalassana, which is the name of the area we're in on the very western edge of Crete. Now, it's got an interesting design. It's like a huge block carved out of solid limestone and it's got like a spine going down it as well, which is a symbol we often find in Sardinia linked with the bull cult. We know that here on Crete or Megalonysos, as I'm going to call it, is actually a very bull kind of worshipping island because of the whole Minoan civilization, Knossos, the Minotaur and everything else. But in this area, just around where this uh, throne is, all on private land, I don't know if we'd be able to get in there, are a bunch of kists or megalithic burials with, with a suggestion that this could be a Neolithic or Bronze Age area. Now this was also mentioned in Julian Cope's book, The Megalithic European. I wouldn't have known about it if it, if it wasn't in there. And it's just an interesting sideline if you're in the very western area of Crete uh, or Megalonysos. Uh, we're going to be mainly going south and to the east because we want to check out Phaestos, we want to check out some caves, and also Heraklion and Knossos and so forth. But this is, if you're on the east, if you're on the western side and you've come in to Chania Airport, this is well worth a 30 minute ride to check it out. There's also the six million year old footsteps, which are about 20 minutes from here, also along the sort of northwestern coast which originally when they were first discovered were thought to be 5.7 million years old, but now they're 6.05 million years in a recent analysis that was done. So although it's got nothing to do with this or the Minoan civilization, it's interesting that the oldest humanoid footprints in the planet are found very close to here in Crete. So if we just have a close look at this, you can see actually, yeah, you can kind of see this sort of spine going up the back there. Can you see that? See, it's like protruding just through the middle there. Now, this is something we find on many, many different symbols relating to the bull cult, because that's often what we find on bulls. Now, these are probably natural holes that are formed inside the chair, but there's like a ledge there as well. But this is like possibly, you know, five, maybe more, 6,000 years old. And it really is just sits here surrounded by these megalithic kind of kists that are found here. And it's just a fascinating, <laughs> fascinating, it's very small site you've got to check out if you come to Megalonysos or Crete. And on the back there, you can see the way it kind of, there's like a step there. So this could have been an actual kind of platform as well. There may have been more here and it was kind of got removed. You've got lots of stones going into the back here. This is probably where some, you can actually see the shape there. That is actually one of the kists, one of the burial kists just behind the throne. You can just see the stones there that make it up. So yeah, really interesting. Just a uh, beautiful mountains in the background. There's JJ in the car. So this, this is it. So I'm gonna take a chance and sit inside it to see if there's any kind of effects, see what it's like. Obviously you've got the beautiful view of the mountains from within it. But let's take a look. So how do we sit in it? There's two different levels here. So this is like the lower level. You can see that here. It feels really good. You can actually feel like a vibration, like a kind of a acoustics in here. So I'm sitting inside the throne here, the throne of Poseidon and looking directly northeast that is the orientation of this chair of this seat of this throne if that's what it was so that would be a summer solstice sunrise orientation so it could have been used by the tribal chieftain to make his observations from in honor of the rising sun on the longest day of the year but even we, if you lean back into it, you can feel this acoustic kind of element going on here as well. 
and so it may have been beautifully precision carved originally in the weathering because often this sort of quality of limestone it's very precise it's very beautifully carved you can get it quite smooth and to me it marks the kind of center of a whole burial complex here probably for very important people going back to my known times or even before because this appears to be because of the style of the kists this appears to be bronze age or neolithic and so there's also this level here which you can kind of sit on as well so what's going on here and also you've got the spine going down the back which is like a mirror of the spine of the person sitting in here now it's thought to be the throne of poseidon because in traditions he had this giant throne made of marble with all these embedded stones and gold and everything in it but this is clearly just pure limestone carved out of solid rock it's just amazing it still exists so if you're in this western part of megalonysos you should definitely check it out but here we have like a rocky outcrop now i wanted to show you this this is a very impressive carved out a solid rock kind of burial kist this is why people think this is bronze age or even neolithic this is before the minoan civilization and so there's more here it's not just the throne there's more going on that is really quite something look at this that's for someone about seven or eight feet long that is really looks beautifully carved all the way down there obviously it's very badly weathered but still worthy of checking out i mean this is just just before you kind of reach the throne which is over where that car's driving down there, exactly where the throne is just on the left of that but yeah i didn't realize there was actual solid rock burial kists here this is really quite something and this is on the far western edge of ancient crete or megalonysos and this is just really really impressive it's just amazing to see this here i don't think we see too much of this we do see some hyper gm caves which we'll look at as we continue our journey but this is kind of a unique site especially for the western part of ancient crete because most of the famous minoan sites are kind of central south or north in the central spine of this island where we just have a few other sites here and there so to find this here with this huge megalithic throne is really quite something let's have a quick look inside of it in more detail yeah it's like it's just cut it's just literally just carved out of solid rock so whether this this could have been an outcrop actually and they carved it right here this was like probably a sacred spot marking the most western part of the island and it's also the western edge is often you know the kind of realm of the dead where the sun sets and this is what's actually happening now we actually experience sunset although on quite a cloudy day Hope you enjoyed our brief little visit here to uh, the throne of Poseidon and uh, we're going to continue our journey around Megalonysos or ancient Crete and please subscribe please become a patron if you can and do check out JJ's town she's just behind me preparing she's making a little video about it as well uh, megalithic maiden and thanks for watching we appreciate it we'll see you next time